this is an interesting problem. We have to find the current flow, this resistance of 10 ohms, let's call it I. Now see, these three voltages are given, these three resistances are given. So if I want to find the current through this, so first if I can find the potential of this, then the potential difference divided by 10 ohm will give me the current I. So the problem reduces to finding the potential of this point. So let's call it V. Okay. Now, what we will do now is, we will apply Kirchhoff's law, Kirchhoff's first law, the junction law, in the form, the summation of all incoming currents is zero. So, summation of all incoming currents at this point is zero. So, if I use that law, what I get is, current coming from this side will be 10 minus V, divided by 10 ohms plus current coming from this side so 6 minus V divided by 20 plus current coming from this side so 30 minus v, sorry 15 minus V divided by 30 so these are the three currents coming to this junction so their summation is zero so as you can see in this equation there is only one variable v so from there we can find out v so once you find out v the difference in potential divided by 10 will give you the current so this much is the physics part after that we just solve it that is the mathematics part and we get the answer so this will give us so lcm is so this cuts off so if i lcm will be 6 so this will be 6 into 10 minus v plus this will be 3 into 6 minus v plus this will be 2 into 15 minus v equal to 0 so this will give us 60 minus 6V plus 18 minus 3V plus 13 minus 2V equal to 0. So this will give us 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. 11V equal to 78 plus 30. So that is 108. So that makes V equal to 108 by 11 volt. Okay, so let's check again. 30. 60 plus 30 is 90 plus this 108. 639 plus 2 is 11. Okay, so see, once I have found out the potential of this point, therefore the current I will be potential difference between this. So this will be 10 minus. 108 by 11 divided by resistance is 10 ohms so that means this will give 11 into 10 is 110 minus 108 divided by 11 multiplied by 10 this 11 will come down so this will be 2 divided by 110 that means 1 by 55 so this is the answer to this question. I will be 1 by 55 ampere. Clear? So in questions like this, what we do is, we first assume a potential here, say it's V, then we use Kirchhoff's first law. Now at this point, don't worry about whether the current is flowing this way or this way, on this branch, this way or that way. So assume that all the currents are coming into the junction, then summation of all incoming currents equal to zero, we use that form of the equation. Then 
we do the calculations to get the answer.